Hello. Today we'll do a very interesting trick of multiplying two numbers that are closer to a power of 10. What do we mean, mean by this? Let's see. For example, if we have to multiply 9 by 7, these two numbers are closer to a power of 10. Power of 10 in this case is 10 itself. So they are closer to 10 and by closer we mean that their distance from 10 is a smaller number that we can easily multiply. For example, if we look at this problem, so 10 minus 9 is 1 and 10 minus 7 is 3. So let's multiply these two. How do we do this? First of all, these two are to be subtracted. Any one of them, you will always get the same number, strangely. So 9 minus 3, that's what I'm doing here. We are getting 6. So that's what we'll write here. That is 6. And then we multiply these two. 1 times 3 is 3. 63. That's your answer. Of course, you will not be doing so many steps. Let's do another one. For example, uh, 8 times 9. Here we get 2, here we get 1. That's okay. 9 minus 2 is 7, and 1 times 2 is 2. So, what we note that this number comes by subtracting minus and this number comes by multiplication okay let's do a harder problem let's see now if we have two digits a two digit number for example 92 times 97 now the power of 10 in this case is 100 so this is 8 numbers away from 100 and this is 3 numbers away from 100. So the first number that we are going to write here is the difference between any of these. So if you see here 97 minus 8 gives you 89 and then if you multiply these two you get 24. That's your answer. Let's do another one. 88 times 93. Now see, we are moving farther away from the power of 10. And let's see what problems arise because of this. What's this 12? 12 is the difference from 88 to 100. So 100 minus 88 is 12. Or 100 minus 93 is 7. So as we have done before, we'll just subtract this. So this one seems to be easier. 88 minus 7 gives you 81 and 12 times 7 gives you 84 so that's your answer let's do another one 89 times 98 here it is 11 numbers away from 100 here it's just two numbers away 98 or oh, 89 minus 2 gives you 87 11 times 2 gives you 22. That's your answer. Let's move to a little harder question. 988 times 999. This is, as you can see, 12 numbers away. This is one number away. Just subtract any of these. So in this case, this is what we are getting and 12 times 1 is 12. Now, what we have to notice here, I have added a 0 here, why? See, this is a key point here to be noted. These numbers are uh, written by subtracting numbers in this fashion, any of these. What do we get? You just write it here. But these numbers are filling in the digits which are the number of digits here so if there are three digits so we have to uh, we have three places to fill whatever digits are left we will place a zero here 
in the previous question for example there were a two digit number multiplied by a two digit number so the answer was two digits here okay here because it's a three digit number so we have to place we have to fill these three places let's do some more problems okay now if we are moving farther away from the power of 10 like for example this one see what's the problem this is 25 away from 100 and this is 14 away from 100 the problem is that 75 minus 14 is giving you 61 that's fine but what is 25 my, uh, times 14 25 times 14 is 350 you will learn how to do this faster in another trick but still it's not that easy for most of the people so 350 and as we have done before because there are two digits to be filled so only 50 can come here out of the 350 so 3 will be carried over here and will be added to this one and the final answer will be this 6450 okay let's do another one 875 times 875 not an easy question this is 125 away of course this is also the same so 875 minus 125 is giving you how much 750 and now we have three places to fill because it's a three digit number 125 times 125 is 15625 that is an easy trick for that you'll learn it later on so this 625 comes here and this 15 is to be added here which makes it 765625 so we have successfully multiplied this okay and you already know this if it was 87.5 times 8.75 it just adds a one, one step here you just multiply it as if there was no decimal point here and count the number of decimals from right towards left so one two three three places so we have one two three so the decimal will come here okay thank you